Aloha everyone. Today is um, it's February 25th, 2021. Um, it is uh, it's about four. It's about 4:20. Uh, 4:20 p.m. Um, I forgot to get the um, I forgot to get the temperatures for today, but I don't know. It feels like it's about uh, 76 or 77 degrees. Um, and, uh, we're back downtown, uh, on, uh, uh, Kino Ole and, uh, uh, Pona, uh, Pona Hawaii Street. Looks like we've got some older folks playing tennis. Uh, Uh, playing tennis across the street. Yo. Oh, I just drew a sign to, uh, to the pizza place. What does it say? Ah, uh, this one. <laughs> Indeed. This way for dank pizza. Um. I need to find out if they serve, uh, how do you say, um. I need to find out if they serve uh, if they serve single slices. I don't think they do. Um, um, it might be worth checking. Uh, might be worth checking right now, actually. Bad number. You guys don't have single slices, do you? No. Are you videotaping? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it okay? No? Uh, Alright, so... Um... Alright, so... So it looks like they, uh, so today's Thursday, it looks like they, um, they actually have individual slices, uh, between, um, Monday through Wednesday, uh, until, uh, until three o'clock, so... I guess the next time I'm down here, I guess the next time I'm down here, I'll keep it in mind. I don't know. There's, there's almost never, there's almost never a time that I would want to, uh, that I'd want to plop down with like a, like a whole pie. I feel like it's, a, I feel like that, that place is, um, it's probably like a good place for like, um, 
uh, to go with at least, I don't know, probably with at least one other person. Um, um, uh, just to be able to split the food. Um, but... Um, but other than that, it, it looks like it's a, it's a pretty, uh, like a pretty, like a pretty cool place to, to just chill and, I mean, play video games. There's this one guy. Oh man, I can't stop in the middle of the street. There's just this one guy that like bikes with a tin drum. But inside the tin drum is a huge speaker. And so so the drum amplifies the sound. And he just bikes everywhere with it. Here's a local art store, uh, art supply store, Franklin, uh, Franklin Crafts. Um, it had rained, uh, it rained, it rained in the morning today. Um, kind of really hard, but it hasn't rained since, so, um, I can already see from here the water looks like bluer. The water looks bluer than, than yesterday. Um, I mentioned in some earlier videos that um, a lot of like gunk uh, washes in when it rains. A lot of gunk flows down from the from the rivers that go up up the um, up the volcano uh, Mauna Kea. A lot of rivers that. Uh, when it rains, the rivers that that flow down down that mountain mountain they like let in a lot of debris into the the ocean, and it usually makes it hard to see. Like like yesterday, it was almost uh, yesterday. Um, yesterday, when I went um, when I went to uh, to Coconut Island, it wasn't like I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't see more, more than like a foot in front of, in front of, in front of myself underwater. Like there was just so much, uh, so much like gunk and stuff. Like, how do you say, like the water is brown and that comes from, basically, basically come from like, from like dirt and other stuff that flows down, uh, Closed down the rivers when it rains. And it rained all day yesterday. I can see the waves from here. The waves look really good. The waves look particularly good. Um,
Here's the sun trying to poke out. Got a high school team or something, uh, training. Oh man, I can, uh, one thing I will say is that on this side of the island, uh, no, actually in this bay in particular, uh, I can smell it from here, like the water smells like salty and fishy. Um, that's not the case at other beaches even along this side of the island. Um, All right, let me duck under this fence. You can see the, um, what is it called? Wow, huge debris. Huge debris washed up. People fishing. But yeah, you can see the waves. There's some people out there surfing. Yeah. But yeah, they basically just come in steady along this line, which is not so bad. It's... I know they don't look so, uh... Well, you know what, they're not so big. I was gonna say, I know they don't look so big. They're not too big. Not too big today, but I, you can kind of see the water's murky today. You see it's brown. It's really supposed to, you know, when it's at its cleanest, it, it'll wash up like, at least like kind of green. Got a handful of uh, handful of beach encampments uh, out here. Um, um, you know there are um, you know there is a homeless population, same like the rest of uh, the rest of the United States. Um, um, I think some places, some places it's more visible than other places. It's definitely, definitely a visible, like a visible homeless population here. Um, But, um, so, so here, so here and there you'll see, like, um, you'll see that people have made, like, tents, uh, that people have made, like, tents or something by, by the beach. 
definitely definitely not definitely not ideal by any means but um I guess apart from being visible, you know, the homeless here are, are pretty laid back. Not too aggressive. I remember, I remember in New York, um, you know, in the last few years that I lived there, I remember noticing, I, I remember noticing an increase in, uh, in homeless population. Um... Um, let's see. It's 2021 now, so... I think I left New York in, uh... 20... Like, around 2017. Like, maybe maybe late 2016. Um... So, in the years from, like, 2013, you know, or, like, maybe 2012 to 2016... I, I definitely noticed an increase, uh, an, an increase in the homeless population in New York, and they were really aggressive there. Like, if you were, uh, I, I don't know if, like, I don't know, I, you know, it probably, it probably just has to do with the amount of people that, 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 that you know, that, I don't know, you know, I honestly don't know. I was going to say the amount of people um, that you have to compete with out there for resources. Um, but in all honesty, in all, all honesty, I'm not sure. But if you were a non-native, like if you, if you were not someone, if you were, if you were someone who is a non-native in New York, and like, you know, like a visitor or a tourist, um, a lot of times like you won't have your, you won't have your defenses up and I've definitely heard stories. I've definitely heard stories from all kinds of, from, from friends that, that have like moved here. Um, I mean, that have moved there, that have moved to New York from out of town, like, like Texas, Pennsylvania, what have you. And like the first time, the first time that they see someone you know, like panhandling or like asking people for money and on the on the subway and like you know explaining the situation they're like they're like generous they're like giving away like five dollars a day and and going broke over it you know like feeling bad that there's so many people in need you know so many people in worse off in worse off situations than they are but You know, after, after about like the sixth or seventh, the sixth or seventh person uh, pretending to be blind walking, you know, like walking through the subways asking for money or, I mean, it's, it's gotten out of control. Uh, I mean, after, you know, after the sixth or seventh person that you realize is running a, is sort of running a game, you definitely like... You definitely, um, you definitely keep your defenses up, um, living in a city like that. Um, 
I know I know it's the same in other big cities like Cairo. Um, but I mean, geez, uh, the well, the one thing that I'll say that is that is great if you are if you are an outsider. You know what? Whether you're an insider or outsider um, of New York, one thing that I will say. Okay, so 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 homelessness is not good, but the sheer variety, <laughs> the sheer creativity that goes into <laughs> that goes into a lot of different people's like spiels when they are when they're panhandling is just astronomical in in New York, like. I mean, I've seen, you know, like like a mom, a mom holding holding a holding her child and in, in holding like her three year old daughter in her arms, you know, and like walking, you know, like walking through the subway, saying, "Please, like, help us." And the daughter is just lying limp in 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 her arms, like. Uh, with her, with her, with her arms dangling, like dangling down, and everything, her arms and legs dangling down, like, you know, um, like she's passed out. <laughs> and then um, after, you know, after her mother collects all the money uh, and the doors open, she'll get off and. Um, and just jump and just jump out of her mom's arm and and then just started run, start running around like like playing like you know like uh like there'd been nothing going on um i've seen people i've seen one guy that was like completely laid out i think the term is uh, spread uh, is it spread eagled like completely laid out on the floor on, on on his back with a sign